G'day legends, today I am going to show you how I format my external hard drives for Mac. This hard drive is a SanDisk G series, it works exactly the same with the Lacey hard drives as well. I like to use these hard drives as they're a little bit more durable, I do a lot of travel photography so I'm taking my hard drives on the road a lot so I spend a little bit extra and get the uh, these hard drives that have got the bumpers around them but they're also both SS so they're a little bit faster when I'm editing photos. So as external hard drives go, the small capacity ones, these are two terabyte each, I think. The Lacey and the SanDisk ones I've found to be pretty reliable. I've got a ton of them. I do use a backup, so these ones stay in my office and don't go around, and these I use to just do a backup of my uh, main hard drives. Uh, so I buy one of these cheaper Seagate sort of versions Every time I buy one of these, I buy a two terabyte one of these, two terabyte one of these, and back it up. But when you first get your hard drive, you need to format it, um, especially for Mac, and I will show you how to do that as well as rename it, and you'll get a clean slate, and you'll be able to go, get off and running and start saving your files to your new hard drive. So let's get in there and show you how to do it. Okay, so once the brand new hard drive is plugged in, I like to... Sometimes I've got multiple drives in, so this is one of my older drives that I've normally got plugged in as well because I'm pulling information off there. I'll make sure that they are unplugged. So the only external hard drive that is plugged in is this brand new one. Because remember, what we're doing here is we're formatting, which gets rid of all the information. Now, there's no information on this disk because it's brand new, but you don't want to mistakenly choose one of your um, hard drives that has got information on it. So the first thing you do is plug it in. So to format this, um, we want to find something called disk utility. So you can just go into the spotlight search, which in Mac, you can find it up on the top, top bar there. Just type in uh, disk utility and it comes up. Click on that and this will bring up disk utility. Now you've got to find the drive you're looking for. So it's named the GTEC and it's under external, so anything that's internal here, you definitely don't want to format that. So we go down to this GTEC Armor. So this is our brand new hard drive right here. And you can see that it's got a capacity of two, two terabyte and it's ready to be formatted and named. Up in this top bar, it's got arrays. You want to tick on arrays. And then it brings up a chance to name your disk. Now, I always like to put the date on it. So it's April 2023. I like to put the date that I started it from. So I know when, um, you know, I've got multiple hard drives. The format that I always choose is M uh, Mac OS Extended Journal. The reason why I do choose Mac OS Extended Journal is because I'm only ever going to be using them on Mac computers. So if you have a combination of Mac computers and PC Windows style computers, well then you want to choose the EXFAT XFAT. And if you choose that, your files will be readable on your hard drives off uh, Mac as well as PC. So if you're sharing between two different styles of computers, but if you're only ever going to really use Mac computers, well then I recommend OS Extended journal for max. I just keep it on guild partition map. And then yeah, just make sure that you've got the right hard drive and then basically you just hit arrays. It does its thing for a little while and it formats the disk for you. And once that comes up, just push done and you can go into your finder and you'll see now that that's your new fresh hard drive. It's April, 2023 and it's empty and ready for you to start saving photos and videos to it. What I do like to do with this hard drive is put a sticker on the back of it and write April 2023 so I don't get them confused with all the other ones. That's, that's as easy as it is to format, but it's important to do that to, to get a clean slate, clear it, and then it's ready to go. Any questions, let me know, but it's pretty basic, hey?